Welcome to the Sun Conversion Machining Process course. The course code is ME8073. And this is a professional elective two subject for the mechanical engineering students. Regulation 2017. So in this video session, we'll be studying about the fourth unit advanced nano finishing process. So in which we'll be studying about the introduction to advanced nano finishing processes. And uh, the objective of uh, this course is to learn about various unconventional machining processes, and the various process parameters and their influence on performance and their applications. And the syllabus um, advanced nano finishing process of fourth unit uh, will be studying about the abrasive flow machining, the chemo mechanical polishing, magnetic abrasive finishing, and magneto rheological finishing, magneto rheological abrasive flow finishing, their working principles, equipments, and the effect of process parameters, applications, advantages, and limitations. So these are all the textbooks and reference books for this unconventional machining process course. So unconventional machining process course outcomes are the students upon completion of this course, they will be able to explain the need for unconventional machining processes and its classification upon completion of unit one. And from unit two, they will be able to compare various thermal energy and electrical energy based unconventional machining process. And from unit three, the students will be able to summarize various chemical and electrochemical based unconventional machining processes. And the, from unit four, the students will be able to explain various nano abrasive based unconventional machining processes. And from unit five, the students will be able to distinguish various recent trends based unconventional machining processes. So introduction to advanced nano finishing processes. And to make different products in various uh, sizes and shapes, uh, some, most of the times, the traditional manufacturing technique doesn't work. So one need to use uh, an alternate way that's a non-traditional or advanced manufacturing techniques you uh, having this advanced machining processes so the later includes uh, both bulk material removal advanced machining processes as well as uh, advanced fine finishing processes so you have this various uh, advanced finishing processes uh, abrasive flow machining and magneto rheological finishing and magneto rheological abrasive flow finishing, magnetic abrasive finishing, and chemo mechanical polishing. And in this video section, we'll be studying about this uh, magneto rheological finishing. So, introduction to magneto rheological finishing. So, with today's focus on total automation in the flexible manufacturing system, this abrasive flow machining process offers both uh, automation and flexibility and this process was developed basically to deeper polish and uh, radius uh, difficult to reach surfaces and adjust by flowing abrasive laden polymer to and fro in two vertical opposite cylinder opposed cylinders so this is the principle of magnetological finishing and uh, magnetological finishing process it relies mostly on the unique smart fluid known as the magneto rheological fluid so here in this uh, schematic diagram you can have this you can see you have this uh, mr fluid container and you have a pump uh, for this delivery of the smart fluid that is magneto rheological fluid and uh, there is a uh, a fluid pickup here and again it is pumped back into this uh, MR fluid container so this MF and you have this uh, electromagnet setup and you have this uh, uh, wheel rotating wheel here and uh, MR fluids are uh, suspension of uh, this MR fluid are suspensions of uh, micron size magnetizable particles uh, mostly such as uh, carbonyl iron 
and dispersed in non-magnetic carrier medium like uh, silicon oil, mineral oil or water. So here in the absence of magnetic field, an ideal uh, MR fluid exhibits uh, Newtonian behavior. So this is uh, experimental setup and this is uh, fluid delivery bar to this uh, wheel rotating wheel and this is a fluid pickup and coming to the application of uh, magneto rheological finishing and it's optics manufacturing used in optics manufacturing and that is high precision lenses used uh, for uh, finishing ceramics and for semiconductor wafers and coming to the advantages of magneto rheological finishing uh, it's very high precision finishing of lenses and uh, it's uh, like the spherical, flat and spherical, flat and spherical, okay. And uh, the surface finish is uh, uh, 0.8 nano uh, uh, microns. And uh, deterministic finishing is uptime. So the disadvantage is the, the shape is, uh, lim uh, shape limitation is there and the standard uh, MR po polishing fluid ineffective for uh, polishing hard metals. So these are all these are the disadvantages of magnetological finishing processes. And with this uh, we come to an end to this video section of the fourth unit. So thank you and have a great day.